Hi everyone and welcome into another Let's Play and today I've been playing, I've been playing, I'll be playing Sega GT on the Sega Mega Drive. So I'm not going to do a lot on this, I might just do one uh, race just to show you this game. See, it's just basically kind of like Gran Turismo, this was for the, uh, why am I playing it? Dreamcast, that's it, I was going to say 360 then for some reason. But yeah, so we've got car dealerships, so we'll have to buy a car obviously, a 10 grand one, so I can't go to these because... They're going to cost a lot of money. I don't know they had Astros on this. Vectra, which one is it? It won't let me have a look at them. Just makes a little fart noise. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got to use cars. Um, what should we get? A cappuccino? Cappu is it cappuccino? They call it cap cappuccini? I don't know. Um, uh, which cars are they used to pick? Me. Does it one of these, one of these little other cars? The horsepower's crap, they're all 64 brake horsepower, so about the speed of a shopping cart, I believe. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at that ugly retro. And then we've got a beat. Ah, I think this, is this what I used to pick? Probably, because it's the cheapest though, isn't it? Uh, well, should we pick the yellow peril? Do you know I'll just pick the ugly car for the sake of it. Like that retro 80s car feel. Bit of nostalgia. Well, it's not that ugly. Well, now it is, but at the time it would look cool, but I don't like little diddy lights. Well, I'll pick that. Oh, I'll just press exit then. then. Uh, okay. Yeah, go on then. Got the cash for it. Sell it. <laughs> no. Now we've got the car. Let's just see what we can tune on it then. Uh, there's no turbos on this. Yep. Have I enough one? No, they're not. Uh, a lot. Muffler. Have I got enough one of them? <sighs> Just. Go on, because two extra brake horsepower. Why not? Why not indeed? Nah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I can buy anything else. Unless there's a really big discount sale today, which I very much doubt there will be. Oh, and as well, there's one thing I loved about this particular game is you can see at the top right you can build your own car so we've got a factory build your own car well I, I can't pick any of these because it's that weird fart noise but you can do classes and that so if I, if I want to do like extra class let's do a, a thousand for example so you've got all these specifications and now you can pick a car if you want it slow fast oh there's only two options so presuming probably line four is the best so let's just pick that Oh, it won't give me insufficient funds, bugger. No, if I press three, then it gives you these little, um, the next stage is the bodywork of the car, which you, you can't make yourself, but do have options for bodywork and that, and you can name your car and have it as front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, or four-wheel drive, and, you know, it's, it's, that was a good thing at the time. At least I had, like, a one-up on the uh, Gran Turismo series. Because I think at the time this was competing against Gran Turismo 2. Well, I'll do an open one. The Mackie D's. Um, are they the same courses or the different, aren't they? Sky Peak Hills. Oh, Sky Peak Hills, Sky Peak Track, and Deep Rock Road. That's a really boring track. It's just wide open. It's just really dull. But I think. Which one is it? I think this one is quite a nice looking track. Now, there's one big problem with this game is that the steering is a bit naff. But when I was looking in the menu system, you can actually tweak the handling. But ah. Uh, I've not got the time and I can't be really arsed to do that. So I'll just leave it as, you know, factory settings. My music is a bit naff on this, but just saying the graphics, it does look nice. This track is a lot more colourful, showing you the nice, the, like the really good power of the Dreamcast. So yeah, that's it. But apart from that, there's only two tracks that really look nice, but some of them do look a bit bland on here. Like the cars as well, sadly. I mean, they do look nice models, but they just, they just don't have that good feel as Gran Turismo were. I thought it was really good on the Gran Turismo, because, like, for an old system, they really did try and um, squeeze a lot of goodness out of the PlayStation 1. And that's one thing that the Gran Turismo series, well, Gran Turismo 2, is a lot better for than this, because it has a lot more tracks, really a lot more tracks. And a hell of a lot more cars. 
and a lot of game modes as well because yeah you, you do have a cream mode but as well there's different varieties of tracks you can play I think you can do rally cars like off road we can go on dirt tracks and snowy mountains apart from just racing like on tr street racing tracks or street circuit tracks or just circuit tracks so there's a lot more variety of the Gran Turismo 2 game than this this is one problem with this game is that the it's a very, the handling is very, very floating. So I don't know if it happens to all the cars. I think it does because I did try a Dodge Charger on this a while ago, like a fast car. And yeah, it's faster, but the handling is still floating on this. So I just feel like the, the driving physics on the, the Grand Turismo is a lot better. See, I'm, I'm, I wanted to play this, but I'm actually just judging this off Grand Turismo 2, and I didn't want to do that. Because personally, I do like this game. It is one of my uh, favourite games on the, the Dreamcast. Because it's the only few racing games that are really good on this. Because it's not the best. It's like The game, I think, that sets a benchmark of a good racing game, just on the Dreamcast, not on like entire other consoles, but on the Dreamcast itself, the best game racing game I think is Metropolis Street Racer and that really set off set like a benchmark of a, a decent racing game on the Dreamcast and this it, it just I think this comes behind it it's a good game it is good um, I'm trying to think of other good racing games as well there's Test Drive Le Mans or I think it's Test Drive Le Mans or Le Mans 24 Hour that's a decent racing game on it there's Ferrari Challenge which was was it Passion Rossa or something F3 3 Five challenge or something. That was a really nice game with graphics. So if like, if, I, if I'm trying to judge this like as a racing game, I could say like a, a racing podium for second or third. I think this would just just squeeze third place on the podium this game. Because it's in the middle. It's it's not as good as uh, Metropolis Street Racer, but it's a lot better than Vanishing Point. And if you don't know what that game is, then I'll leave you a link in the description because I played that game a while ago. And it, the handling is... even I call this game is flow tangling. Look at the physics on that game. That is just insane. So there you go. That's just Sega GT and the Sega Dreamcast. One of my favourite games on the console. Not the best, but one of the best. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. And I will see you soon for some more Let's Plays. Bye-bye. Take care.